Good morning. I'm Levi with Loader Parts Source. I want to give you the information on if you should repair your hydraulic cylinder, also called a ram sometimes, or just replace it. To understand that, you have to understand why seals fail. They fail for two reasons. If they're, well, they fail if they're wore out. They wear out for two reasons. One reason is normal wear. The other one is damage on this surface area of the rod. This is hardened uh, and it's chrome, so it's kind of an expensive part. But it's also down in the dirt where rocks and concrete and stuff hits it. And once there's damage in this area, if there's little dings in here as you rub your finger across it and you feel imperfections in it, it's not smooth, those areas are acting like a file and wearing out your seals. So that is means if you're going to replace your seals and you want to get some life out of them, you either have to replace this part or this part. Well, by the time you add up the seal kit and this part and your labor, assuming you're not retired and just doing it for fun, you're getting real close to the price of a new cylinder and it's my recommendation that you replace the whole thing. Uh, at least if it's available from a reputable aftermarket source. The new ones are crazy outrageous and you're probably back to this replace <laughs> fix it up. But no, you'll have to buy a RAM too if there's imperfections here because that will ruin your seals. Uh, another thing to consider, people have problems keeping these things greased well. If it isn't greased well, these bushings will wear out uh, and you'll have to also replace the bushing or Perhaps if it wore through the bushing, or, uh, that's another reason you might have to replace the entire cylinder rod. And when you're in there, side note, you want to buy some pins and replace the pins too. They're 30 or 50 bucks, relatively inexpensive, and you're right there, you've already got it apart uh, if they look warm. So if you do decide that you want to replace your cylinder seals, the question then is, well, what's required? Because maybe I don't have the equipment. Uh, this is the gland, also called the cylinder head. This is the piston. And these aren't matched parts. I just grabbed them off of the shelf. Uh, this part slides over here. And this part fastens on here with a nut. So it begins by removing this part. There's a couple different designs. This is a common design and it's removed with a gland nut, uh, some kind of tool with pins in it. You can buy different variations of it. That's one we offer. Uh, others have notches in here, and you can get another tool that grabs those notches. A lot of people are just gonna grab a monkey wrench, an alligator jaw pliers, something out of their toolbox that grabs this area. You have to be careful not to let it bite back into the cylinder barrel because that won't turn. So you have to grab just on the, just on the aluminum part and see if you can get it loose. That's the easiest way because honestly you don't care if there's marks in it, you care if it's leaking. Once you get this loose, side note, if it's in corrosive stuff like fertilizer, it may never come out no matter what you do. So save yourself that grief. So you remove this, you unthread it, this whole assembly pulls out of the barrel. You take it to a vise and fasten it here. You have to use a, a, an air wrench or something powerful enough to get this loose. Then this slides off, and this slides off, and at that point you're ready to replace the seals. Uh, the seal that leaks externally is this U-cup that goes in the inside of the cylinder bore. There's a dust seal in the front. All the dust seal does is prevent the abrasive dust from damaging the actual pressure seal. The dust seal is pointed with the sharp part forward to scrape the dust off. It's also called a scraper, technical term. Um, and this part has this sharp part pointed backward. It's called a U-cup. And the way it works is as pressure hits here, it forces these lips apart and causes it to seal in the cylinder. Uh, yeah, I already told you why it wears out. So that's the primary seals that'll leak externally. Uh, if your cylinder 
doesn't hold the load. You put it up and you park the machine and it just goes down. It's probably because this seal on the inside, um, where it's moving up and down between the ports, the oil pushes in one side and forces it. Well, if that oil leaks, it moves when it's not supposed to. And that is, again, there's other designs, but this is the most typical. Uh, that part goes in here and it does wear out. So that's the internal seal that you have to replace. You've got to stretch them. I soak them in hot water to make them softer so I don't damage them. Stretch them very carefully. Get them on there. Wrap some shop towels around it. And I use a hose clamp to squish them back into place. It's kind of a, a redneck way of doing it. But that's how I learned to rebuild stuff was I used what I had in the shop. And I find a, found a way to do it without damaging stuff. I'm sure there's other ways to do it, but requires expensive tools that nobody has. Um, yeah, that'll get your seals replaced. You put it back together, put it back on, and you are good to go. Thank you for giving us your attention, and I hope this is helpful.